I want to show you this guy called Peter Manyoro who is doing witchcraft in church. He's doing something called divination. Let me just show you the video first before I comment. First, you can see the level of pride, how he's trying to make himself be worshipped by the people. And uh, he's calling himself master. We have only one master and he's in heaven. That is Jesus Christ. Now watch this. This guy is going to tell uh, this lady things uh, of the future. And uh, he's going to tell her supernatural things. And this is what is called divination. Let me first show you exactly what divination is. Okay. So that we can be on the same picture. Now divination is the practice of seeking knowledge of the future or the unknown by supernatural means that is divination now listen to peter manuro and see this guy supernatural things you see? he's saying that i was seeing death i'm seeing death before you so this guy is telling people things concerning the future that is divination that is the uh, satanism okay just let, let's keep on seeing Now, guys, just uh, to make this story very short. Now, have you seen this guy is practicing something called divination? Saying things of the future and explaining things which are supernatural and nobody can be able to understand what he's talking about. Now, let's see what the Bible says concerning divination. In the book of Deuteronomy 18, verse 10, the Bible says, There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that uses divination. Are you seeing this divination is mentioned, huh? Or an observer of times. This guy is observing times. He's saying, uh, I'm seeing this and this is going to happen to you. Or an enchanter. Enchanter is speaking uh, with the dead. And I'm going to show you just uh, 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 in continuation of the video. This guy will be speaking to the dead. He'll be speaking to spirits and things that just some weird things. Eh? Or a witch. This is exactly what the Bible is saying. Okay. So this these words have been spoken here. Let me let me let me let me let me show you this. Huh? Uh, let me show you something here. Exactly what those words are. Okay, divination. I want us to check that word divination. You see, it's here, divination. Okay. So when we check the word divination, it is basically witchcraft. Okay? Witchcraft of the nation Balaam. Balaam, false prophets, in a good sense, king's lips as oracles. You see, these people are making themselves kings. 
they are making themselves to be the gods okay so let's check one more time uh what this guy is uh is doing here let me see let me see if i can open this back again okay uh here is the video Yo, shall we? okay here is the video I'm not saying God cannot heal people, but this this one particular is witchcraft. Now, you will see this pastor speaking to spirits. He'll be speaking to spirits. And we have seen the Bible telling us there should be none among us who speaks to spirits, enchantments, and all those kind of things. No. You hear? The guy is asking, how many are you inside the woman? So this guy is speaking to spirits. He's speaking to spirits. That is what he's trying to portray here. So if he's speaking to spirits, that's witchcraft. And uh, if he's pretending to speak to spirits, then he's a false prophet. So anyway, guys, all in all, what I'm trying to say is that we need to be very wise. We need to wake up because these are the last days and these people, this, this witch, witches in church, they are getting so many. They are becoming so many. And guys, we need to open up our eyes because these are the last days. Believe the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, and you will be saved. Believe the gospel. Get away from these false churches.